Toyota's CEO has just unveiled a car that could literally destroy all EVs. This new car is neither an EV nor a gas vehicle, but promises a range of over 1,000 miles. Introducing Toyota's all-new ammonia-powered car. If you thought EVs were the next big thing, prepare to have your mind blown. Combustion engines are about to get banned to make way for an all-electric future. But Toyota is on a mission to wipe EVs out of existence with their massive liquid ammonia project. This new fuel is truly groundbreaking. Not only does it offer zero emissions, but it can be used in any internal combustion car, meaning you will not have to buy an EV. With nearly the same power output as Toyota's diesel, over 1,000 miles of range in one tank, and a refueling time as small as a pit stop, Toyota has just created the biggest breakthrough in the automotive industry ever since Kisado took charge of Toyota back in January 2021. Toyota has always been somewhat against electrification, but guess what? Toyota has been playing the long game and has always had this big secret up their sleeve. They first played with hybrids, then EVs, and then even tried hydrogen vehicles. But finally, after billions of dollars and years of innovation, Toyota has found the perfect formula for a car that could truly become the future of the automotive industry. After all, shouldn't there be a company that gives the common man what they want at an affordable price rather than forcing EVs on us? Toyota, in partnership with GAC, is breaking new ground with a never-before-seen ammonia-powered engine, proposing an obvious pivot away from the electric vehicle trend. Let's talk about the design of the vehicle, which at first glance looks quite similar to any Mercedes two-door coupe, with an Audi-inspired grille and sharp angular headlights at the front. Toyota has given this car a massive grille, which is similar in design to their offerings from Lexus. Wait till I tell you about the powertrain, and the real secret behind how this car achieves its massive one, 000 mile range. The bodywork is sculpted aerodynamically, minimizing drag and optimizing fuel efficiency, while the vehicle's lightweight construction, possibly using advanced composites, compensates for the heavier weight of ammonia fuel systems. The front also has some blue accents, along with blue lining around the 17-inch wheels, which adds to the futuristic appeal. Now let me tell you about the engine, which is the main selling point of this car. It's not electric, it's not hydrogen, it's all liquid ammonia. The engine itself is a 2-liter beast that manages to turn out 161 horsepower. Now, horsepower is just a fancy way of saying how powerful your engine is and 161 is a respectable number for a car that's looking to be both eco-friendly and still fun to drive. It runs on the same ammonia which you see in fertilizers and household cleaners, so we know we've been using this for years now. But why ammonia? Well, it's because when you burn ammonia, you don't get the usual suspects of emissions like carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons. In fact, this engine slashes carbon dioxide emissions by a jaw-dropping 90% compared to your typical gas guzzler. This is big news, especially in today's world where the climate crisis is making headlines every day. Cars that run cleaner could be a game changer in cutting down pollution. Now, using ammonia as a fuel isn't entirely new. The trucking and shipping industries have been toying with the idea for a while now. Despite having half the energy density of gas, ammonia's cleanliness factor is a huge plus. However, its lower combustibility and the difficulty in achieving a quick burn have been sticking points. But the folks at GIC and Toyota have cracked the code. But there's one major caveat that no one's talking about, but more on that in a minute. Jack R and D Center engineer Cheong Jong, one of the brains behind this innovation, expressed his optimism about the engine's potential. He stated, We've overcome the pain point of ammonia, being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. Its value to society and for commercial uses are worth anticipating. Inside the cabin echoes the exterior's cutting-edge feel, likely featuring a dual digital screen that keeps the driver informed not just about speed and navigation, but also about ammonia levels and engine efficiency. You get all black interiors to go along with the blacked out exterior as well. First off, when you slip into the driver's seat, you're going to notice the fancy heated and power adjustable seats. It's like sitting in the lap of luxury, especially with the faux leather upholstery that feels like the real deal, but without the guilt. The next thing you've got is keyless entry and ignition and remote start-stop integrated. In the key as well, the interior is straight out of an SFI flick 
Imagine these black trim pieces that curve along the dash and doors like something from a spaceship. And the dashboard, speaking of tunes, this car comes standard with a 14-speaker JBL audio system. Yeah, 14. That's like having your own personal concert hall on wheels, and with features like a Wi-Fi hotspot, Sirius XM satellite radio, plus Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you're always connected too. Now, Toyota's not just about the flash, they've got your back on safety too. You've got this bundle of driver assistance features that are all about keeping you safe. Things like automated emergency braking that can spot pedestrians before you do, a lane departure warning to keep you straight, and adaptive cruise control for those long winding drives. On top of all this tech and comfort, there's some real practical stuff too. Like if you're living in Japan, Toyota's tossing in a $155,000 fuel credit and 21 days of free vehicle rentals. That's for times when you're traveling to places that don't know about the coolness of ammonia fuel yet. And hey, there's talk they might offer something similar when they bring it over to America. You get the usual Toyota warranty, three years or 36,000 miles of coverage, plus a powertrain warranty that's good for five years or 60,000 miles. And the cherry on top? Three whole years of complimentary scheduled maintenance. That's Toyota basically saying, we got this. But there's one issue. Handling ammonia can be tricky. It's toxic, and enough exposure can be fatal. This is why industries that deal with dangerous substances, like trucking and shipping, have been the first to explore its use. But according to Bloomberg NEF analyst Colin McInerney, this is why ammonia might be a tough sell for the average Joe who just wants to get from point A to point B without turning into toast. However, Toyota is no stranger to alternative fuels. They've been leaders in hybrid technology and have also been working on hydrogen fuel cells. In Japan, the government has been eyeing a future without traditional IC cars. Everyone is against the ban on the sale of combustion vehicles, which means alternatives like ammonia could become the last hope for saving combustion engines. But why am I saying that this car will end all EVs? Is there anything wrong with EVs that nobody wants you to know? Well, firstly, we have the issue with the high costs of EV batteries, which just goes on increasing day by day. The reason behind this is that these batteries are made from rare earth minerals, which are only present in limited supplies on earth. Along with this, EVs are currently not practical and are being sold on massive dealer markups, which might phase the middle class completely out of the picture. You buy EVs to save on fuel costs, but when you run some actual calculations, you will see that 10 years down the line, you would have saved an equal amount if you purchased a hybrid that's half the price. All the political leaders have cashed in on the EV craze and are now forcing us to buy EVs, but we must demand more options and not just purchase soulless electric cars. Hydrogen has long been touted as the fuel of the future with its clean combustion and high energy content. 